Uh, greetings toy fans. What's going on? Uh, this is Mark here at Mark's Toy Box. I have not put out a video for a little bit, but uh, I found one today that I felt was worthy of this. So, Power Rangers Lightning Collection being made by Hasbro uh, for the past few years. Finster. Pre-ordered this bad boy back in October from Amazon for $26.49. I've been waiting for him. He showed up yesterday. Uh, so, I am in love with this figure, just looking at it from the box. Uh, once again, it's a lot like any other Lightning Collection box. It's got a nice little art on the side of who the character is. Shows a good picture on the back. Nothing super amazing, but uh, nice, nonetheless, quality. But... This figure, just looking at it, I am just blown away with the amount of accessories and the detail on the sculpt. Let's take a look what we got here. We got Finster. Let me just take all this out and show you one at a time. So Finster himself, I'm just blown away at this sculpt because it's very original. I mean, number one, that head is just outstanding. Um, the jaw is articulated, ladies and gentlemen. The jaw is articulated. Uh, he's got glasses on, as you can see. Um, just great paint on that. That's a nice soft plastic, actually, on the ears. So that's pretty cool. He goes all the way back into a little bit of a ponytail there. Um, the the detail on this apron is is spectacular he's got all those little tools down here in his belt loops uh, there's nice paint job on those tools um, I've got no idea what's going on with his knuckles there but I'm sure that's supposed to be um, once again as with every lightning collection figure I've seen butterfly shoulders um, he's got looks like that pinless technology Hasbro's been working on so it's uh, a single joint elbow, but nonetheless, it's nice flexibility for what he has. Single jointed knees as well, and very much the same way, but they're, once again, it's all pinless in here. Um, but just the sculpt work. I mean, I'm looking at this whole figure, looking at like just the way his the fabric on his sleeves is supposedly laying there. Just the, the apron itself, the face, more tools up here in this upper pocket. They just went all out. This is not a sculpt that they're going to be reusing on anything else. <laughs> so that's just, that's what blows me away with this one. And he's got so many accessories. So Finster is, um, he's there to make putties on behalf of Rita. So for starters, ah, he's got his little carrying case. In that carrying case you see he's got one putty sort of in there there's sort of a 3d i don't know if you can tell there but that's 3d because there's this putty in there and then there's spot for two other putties and these are the putties that come in the accessories so they come out so you can sort of be playing with them and sculpting them but nonetheless they fit right in there in this case as you can see it's got indentations on that side too so you can close the case he can carry this around with him I am not a clay sculptor like Finster, so I'm not as adept at all the tools. But nonetheless, you can see he has this little brush type thing. I mean, that's really fine and tiny. You're not going to see that very well. Um, it's a little corkscrew looking trowel for shaping and then since he's working with clay he's got a rolling pin as well and as you can see on here and the box showed you too on the back I mean that rolling pin can go right here in his apron uh, 
Um, I'm thinking I can do the same thing with this trowel over here. Sure seems that way. Couple of accessories right there. I can put his little paintbrush in his hand. Maybe that's a little sculpting tool. I'm not entirely certain because it looks like it's got a silver tip. So maybe that's what it is. Sculpting tool. Um, and on top of that, he's got this little, whoo, sort of a necklace on a rope with a magnifying glass. And that's like really a magnifying glass so that he can look and see the more fine details. I'm afraid I might have to pop his head off to get this on. It's on in the picture, so I'm gonna, yeah, that came off pretty darn easy. His head's got some nice mobility to it. There's a little ball there. It's got some flex and there's a ball that the head sits on. So there's a lot of articulation right there in the neck joint just from that. Snapped right on easy. There you go, you've got his, that on there. Carry his case with that handle. It's a bit of a soft rubber, but I can get him to hold it. And on top of all of that, he comes with a couple of extra hands. Those two are just sort of gripping hands. Actually, this one looks like it's really designed to hold that either paintbrush or detail design, and I'm not really sure. That's just maybe to hold, looks like it's designed to hold one of those clay figures in it. Let's just see how these. Fit in those. that hand holding that it's it's that's perfect i mean that's such a perfect sculpt there let's get this case out of his hand i'm not going to swap his hands right now i'm not sure how i want to display him but nonetheless i'll just show you i mean that hand is pretty perfect for holding on to his little clay figures so look just looking at the the sculpt of this guy, just next level outstanding. Um, he's not gonna be the most he heavily articulated. He doesn't need to have the flexibility, and yet here he does have it regardless. I mean, he's not a fighter, he's, a, he's an artist. An artist of fighters, whatever. Nonetheless, even with this apron on, he's got a lot of mobility to him. Um, I'm, just, I'm just a huge fan of this figure. I am so glad I bought it. Uh, I think you will be too. This is really one of my favorite figures I've bought in a long time. This whole Lightning collection with Power Rangers, they've been, I mean, the Power Rangers themselves are great, but they have been absolutely knocking it out of the park with the villains. And uh, I think this one might be the best one in terms of a new sculpt, uh, original sculpt. They put a lot of money into obviously tooling for this figure and they're not going to get any of it back unless we buy a bunch of Finsters. So please go out there, buy Finster. I'm begging you. Let's keep this line going. Hasbro's doing amazing stuff with the Lightning Collection and I'm glad to add this one to my shelf. So until next time, I'm Mark. This is Mark's Toy Box. We have no idea when next time is going to be because I go in phases. So whatever. This is a buy. Take care. Have a great day.